Sam has just traveled through time, space and logic and finds himself fully alive and more importantly, rich again. His joy is only dimmed by the fact that he can't move at all. This is when he shows up. Death. Yo, yo, yo. Oh god, you look horrible. You look great. Uh, are you okay? Can you hear me? Uh, blink twice if yes. Oh cool, you're alive. Everything is fine. Aight. So this here is the deal and biz. All your body functions are manual, so you kinda have to do stuff on purpose. Uh, you're turning kinda blue. Might wanna consider breathing. All right, bitching. You're blinking and breathing. That's that's bitching. Um, so all right, go survive for a day, and I'll let you live normally for the rest of your life. If you somehow die within the next 24 hours, I'll take your shreds, and you'll be dead forever. I'll be over there doing kickflips if you need me. Once again, Sam has to make an effort to get up. This time, he has to focus on his spine. And, once again, he has to remind himself how to walk. Oh, by the way, dude, it's Friday morning, so you're getting late for work. Sam panics. He doesn't do much at work, but his father is still very strict about him showing up on time. It has to do with morale of the rest of his company. <laughs> Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Sam tries out a strange maneuver by stepping with the same leg twice. He has to use his opposite leg to get up again. Sam holds onto that toothbrush like his life depends on it. Sam brushes his teeth. Sam is dumb enough to breathe in with his mouth full of water. He has to cough. With clean teeth, Sam is ready to smile. He won't for at least 24 hours though. Sam tries to take a leak. Sam takes a leak everywhere including, but not limited to, himself. Sam tries to take a shower. He looks more like a mantis that is trying to explain to someone how a bicycle works. No one, Sam. Next on the list is putting on clothes.
Sam can open doors now. Clever boy. <sighs> Your spine, Sam. It matters. Where is Sam going? Only he knows. his wardrobe. What will he wear today? He picks a pair of blue jeans. The ugly ones. Sam successfully puts on his pants. Feeling more accomplished than ever, he proceeds to find a jacket. Only the best one will do. He settles for the mediocre one. Humble. Fully clothed, Sam is ready for the day. P.S. He is not. You're impressing no one, Sam. Sam walks down the stairs with great precision. Sam decides to hurl himself down the stairs. Too used to hurling money around. Flappy Rooster is Sam's favorite game. He has no time for playing with Flappy Roosters right now though. Hey, dude, you should probably eat something. <sighs> there is a note saying, Send over a maid to make you breakfast. Don't forget to chew. Love, Mum. Despite his mother's warnings, Sam forgets to chew. Disgusting, yet necessary. Sam decides to try his luck on some coffee drinking. Sam's coffee is so hot, he blows on it. Sam drops the coffee. Dramatic. Out of cups. Out of hope. Or not. He decides having third-degree burns in his mouth is a better idea. He finally makes it out the front door. Beaten. Terrified. Stupid. Sam has some trouble with his posture and has to focus on his spine. Oh, check this 
out, bro. I'm totally gonna kick flip over your car. <laughs> it was like that when I got here, bro. <laughs> Dude, you might want to get that thing fixed. That, that doesn't look right. That looks bad. It's loose. Probably. Yeah. 